What's up guys, my name is Dan Danier Daniel. I draw cards and turn them into 3D prints and make tutorials for Hue Forge for all of you to enjoy. Here's the thing. Whenever you download an update for Hue Forge, I know that we've all been through this. You have your filament library in the old update and then you have to import it and you have to go find the file and you, then you have to import it. Super annoying, super, it's, it shouldn't be that hard. Now, if you're on Mac or Linux, you don't have to deal with these Windows problems. You know, simple, simple life in the Mac and Linux world. With Windows, you have to go in and manually do this every single time that there is an update. So now with this 0 0.8.0, not only will you have access to color match, but you also have access to this quality of life fix. So we are going to put our filament library in one centralized location. That way, as updates continue to roll out for Hue Forge, as we continue to go along this year, you will no longer have to import your library every single time. It will just be there and it will just work like magic. As a Mac and a Windows user, I have really hated doing this on Windows, to be perfectly honest with you. But now we have a fix and it will work beautifully. This video is going to be mainly for the people that are having issues with it or just don't understand how they can import their library. So we'll go through it. I'll try to make it as easy as possible. You can follow along. It's going to be a little different because my files are set up a little bit differently than yours, but I should give you a generalized idea so that you can do it yourself. Okay. So whenever you update to the newest Hue Forge update, that 0.8.0 is the time I'm making this video, you will get prompted with this import existing configuration box. What it's going to be looking for is it's going to look for your filament library and downloads, documents, and on your desktop. Otherwise, you're going to have to tell it where your Hue Forge folder is. That way it knows where to look for your filament library. And whenever it finds your filament library, it's going to put it into your app data on your Windows computer. That way it's in a centralized location so that, like I said, in the future, you won't have to worry about this. So let's just go through and we'll walk through exactly how to go and find your Hue Forge installs. So this is where I have all of my Hue Forge downloads and all of my updates that I've had ever since the beginning. It's a cluster that nobody else would know how to get into. If we go into my beta folder and then we come into color match shenanigans and then we go into another folder, this is the problem that we had whenever you're trying to find a filament library, your most current filament library. There are so many different updates that I've gone through that it's just kind of a pain to, if I don't know what it is off the top of my head that I have to go and deal with this every single time. So anyways, once you find your most recent Hue Forge filament library, whatever folder it's in, you're going to find this Hue Forge folder. This is where all the magic happens. Whenever you click on your Hue Forge folder, you'll just hit select folder. It'll ask you default options already exist. Do you want to replace it with this file? Just because I had duplicate files found, you may or may not. We'll just hit okay. So here I accidentally did something that a lot of you have probably done. I clicked on the wrong Hue Forge folder and it doesn't have my most current filament library. It actually doesn't have any of my filament library. So this is probably why you're here. You've run into this issue. How do we get our current filament library out of the right folder? So from this page, you can see that I have zero owned filament. This was a fresh install of Hue Forge that I was trying to pull from just to give you an example. So if we come up here, and we go to file and then we come down to import existing configuration. This is where we will find our Hue Forge install. This is how we're gonna go and find the correct Hue Forge folder that we wanna work with. So I'll go back into all the way down to where my folders are and we'll select this folder. We'll go ahead and replace it. We'll go ahead and replace it. And we'll go ahead and replace this. To apply changes, we will now restart Hue Forge. It closes, it comes back up, and there we go. So I have an uh, old file that it wants to restore from the previous update, and then here's all of my filament. It's as simple as that whenever you are trying to import your library. I just wanted to make this quick video and this quick tutorial. That way, if you have any questions, it's just easier to see somebody walk through whenever there's a problem like that, wherever you import an, an old library or just the wrong library. Like I said, guys, this is a one and done kind of thing. Once you do this for the first time, you won't have to do it again. Every time that there's a Hue Forge update, you won't have to import your library ever again. It's super nice. Super. As a Mac user as well, it's just a really nice quality of life update. Um, if you have any questions for Color Match, I have video tutorials as well. Uh, feel free to like, subscribe, share with your friends that may be struggling with Hue Forge, and I will see you in the future.